Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, a big hello. I'm Selena, an interior designer, stylist and furniture finisher based in Sydney. I'm so excited because today's video is going to be a first series that I'll be bringing you called Decorate and Design with Selena. So today's first video is going to be all about styling a dresser. I'm going to be styling this one particular dresser that is a beautiful six drawer, very neutral piece in two different styles. And the first style is a boho look and the second is kind of what I'm calling country glam. So if you want to see how I style up those pieces, continue watching. First begin with the mood setter, artwork. Artwork is great to use because it helps establish the style and is the key to help scale in the sizes of all your other accessories. This artwork is a framed canvas print measuring at about 80 by 80 and it sits perfectly centered to the dresser and allows some negative space around it for the accessories to then breathe. Next I anchor the artwork with an overscaled ceramic lamp which has both a neutral base and lampshade. To the other side of this dresser I curate a selection of three decor accessories and I place this on top of a single book. I use a mix of different textures, finishes and heights in these objects to create interest and depth. For some movement and hints of colour I've used the dry florals with a slight red tinge. I've also added in a very cute gold mermaid for a bit of personality and it also has a hint of glam, referencing the gold detail in the acrylic hardware that I've used on the body of the dresser. The core colours that I've played with in this vignette are mostly beiges and whites. And a little bit about what a vignette means, it's kind of just a grouping of different objects and accessories all collected in one image or kind of scene and it's about creating a little moment that's special to you or whoever you're trying to create it for. So a vignette's just a clustering of really pretty grouped things together just to make a space feel special. What gives this vignette depth and interest is the interplay of different heights, textures and finishes used in the objects. There is also negative space in between the objects on the dresser and around the artwork as well. And this is really important to allow your eye to rest and have somewhere to kind of work around the scene as well. Though this look isn't completely symmetrical, you do have a similar height between the lamp and the texture of the vase and the florals as well. So what this does is give it a greater sense of balance and cohesion together. So next we move on to the second look, what I'm calling Country Glam. Similar to the first style, I'm using artwork to anchor and add in the style and the mood of the furniture item. So this artwork is similar in size again, it's an 80 by 80, but it's definitely a lot softer and it has more floral and pastel tones. So it's these colours that I'm going to use as my jumping off point to highlight my accessories and make it feel a bit more glam and country. Here again I'm going to be anchoring this artwork with a tall sculptural element and that's going to be this brass lamp. It has a really nice glass base which is nice and light and it works really well for that glam touch. It also has an oatmeal lampshade which then references the base and the colour used in the dresser as well. And similar to my last look, I'm using a book stack and some florals to add in some texture, height and movement as well. But to add in some greater contrast and depth, I'm using books that have a coloured spine. Here I'm using a dark green book and this helps reference the colour tones in the pastel artwork and anchors in the height of the artwork down to the dresser as well. I've then finished this look by placing some marble trays that would be a collection of where my jewellery and earring would go and to the other side of this I have a marble candle holder and some glass styling beads. So here I'm using softer, more delicate textures that are part of that glam aspect but then for the country tone, I'm using some more greens and sort of floral accents. And if you're a bit more of a minimalist, maybe just having the accessories placed in the center might be your thing. Styling is one of my favorite creative things to do. Whether it's for my furniture flips, staging, or for styling pieces around my apartment, I love doing any type of style. And it's also a great way of changing up the mood and the feeling of a space. By just changing up sometimes those key aspects of the artwork and your accessories, you really can change and elevate the feeling in your space and how it looks as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about styling, interior design, and furniture flipping, then this channel's for you. So make sure you subscribe so you stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.